the discharge vets are now in manual discharge. The vehicle Copy. power changes in preparation for cruise stage separation. It's going to cut loose the cruise stage and all that solar array that's been uh, powering us uh, through all of cruise. Pyro firing card are now powered on. Go ahead, EDLCOM. Uh, so we're ready to switch the displays over to the 1010 marker, um, which will show EDL data manual tones. Um, you ready? Uh, standby one. Uh, yes, we are ready. Copy that. All right. And we can confirm through EHA now that the BCBs are in manual charge mode. Copy BCBs and manual charge. We've also completed enabling the pyros commands. We are in the process of powering off the cruise stage hardware. We can verify through telemetry that the cruise stage harbor is powering off. That yeah, cruise stage is turned off. Flight pyro, pyro bus is armed. Copy, thank you, pyro. And enabled. Pyro electronics that are used to Roger. activate many of the devices that are going to be used to cut the cruise stage, and uh, a lot of the separation events during EDL have been armed. Nav is confirming that we are starting venting. HRS vent has started. And Flight EDL, we're firing our first pyros to vent the HRS system. The RT, medley RTDP warnings are expected. The navigation team can see that the that the, the fluid coming out of the that heat rejection system is actually pushing the vehicle a little bit, as expected. So we can confirm that the vent is actually happening. Odyssey Com, Odyssey Vision Manager on EDL Ops. <laughs> EDLCOM, this is uh, Dynamics on EDL Ops. Go ahead, Dynamics. Uh, is our display configured correctly for you in the MSA? Uh, affirmative. I see it. Waiting for X-Man tones. Very nice picture. And we're expecting uh, tone start at 513.17 UTC. Copy. We're under two minutes from cruise stage separation. Odyssey Com, Odyssey Mission Manager on EDL Ops. Odyssey Mission Manager, this is EDL Ops on EDL Ops. Odyssey has completed its salute of the EDL Com attitude. All systems are nominal. Odyssey is go for EDL Com support. Great to hear from you. Thank you very much. We have a cruise stage step uh, about to happen. For all of EDL, so we will have their coverage. Things are looking good for them, and they're looking good for us. We're about one minute to cruise stage separation. Tones. Uh, we're seeing the uh, transition to tones now. Uh, the system should be configured shortly. And we're seeing carrier only. The vehicle's changing to tones at this time. So uh, we're switching from telemetry, we've lost telemetry, and we're going to move to just tones. And receiving heartbeats. We are receiving heartbeat tones this time. Uh, affirmative, we're seeing the expected uh, two seconds of heartbeat followed by the 10 second carrier pulse. Enough can see something that could be consistent with cruise stage separation in the upper. I'm showing a good strong signal, uh, higher than expected uh, carrier power, and continuously in heartbeats. Uh, ideal calm tones look good. We are receiving heartbeat tones at this time. Uh, things are looking good. We see that we are priming the the uh, entry RCS thrusters. Cruise stage separation.
in about one minute, Curiosity's EDL software will wake up and begin uh, final preparations for entry. Uh, the first action it will take is to fire some warm-up pulses to get the uh, entry RCS thrusters going. Uh, the pulses will ensure the spacecraft will get the thrust that we want uh, when, it starts, when it's counting on it. We did see the heartbeat signal drop low for a second as the signal passed uh, by the donut of the cruise stage. at this point well I'm very variation excited in the pattern uh, antenna pattern is this reflected is the, uh, in the variation this is the part that uh, really is entry this is where we're getting to the top of the atmosphere the great thing is that the propulsion systems shown to be working we're turning the vehicle uh, it looks like the vehicle is uh, going to be uh, doing its entry job very well and I'm very excited about that everything is going very well right. so make sure everyone keeps their eyes on the television because we might actually get some pictures if all goes well, then we might be murky and, co and covered with dust uh, when we first land. But uh, we'll get, we might get some pictures today. Uh, wow, at landing. At, just, after, just a few minutes after landing. Excellent. Okay, we're standing by. Thank you. We're just under six minutes to entry. Uh, we're continuing to wait for entry interface. The spacecraft is continuing to send heartbeat tones, telling us that uh, everything is okay and there's nothing significant to report. Um, this is as expected. It should be quiet for a little while, at least. should be up to about 5.5 kilometers per second. Okay. 
So what's taking place now? So right now the vehicle is flying through space. It's actually uh, in, in deep space still. In fact, not until after we hit the entry point will we actually begin to feel the force of the atmosphere gradually building on that heat shield. So really it's still a spacecraft. It hasn't actually become an aircraft. But we've checked out its, its, its rockets. It's actually used to turn the vehicle. It's turned to the right attitude. And that means it's ready to go. And as soon as we start feeling the, at the atmosphere, it'll start doing its role to get to the, to the turn as part, as part of the, the guidance that it does. It starts off with a right bank and eventually will make a left bank and then, uh, and then make another right bank as it makes its way to, uh, uh, to, the, to the landing site. So it's a capsule right now It's a capsule. In. It's a, just a bare capsule, um, nothing looking out, just the radios is something that's sticking out and, uh, uh, and that's what we're getting. We're getting tones from that vehicle right this second. Okay. Now we don't get, we're not getting Odyssey data yet. That doesn't happen until a little while later. After parachute. Actually, after, during, just after entry, about the time before parachute, just before parachute opens up. Okay. EDL phase dynamics. Did that work out? Go ahead, dynamics. Uh, just FYI, uh, OD227 uh, run out looks like uh, miss distance of 232 meters. Over. Two, three, two meters. That's correct. Less than the divert. Roger. We can expect a brief signal dropout when we switch to the TLJ. We're at three minutes entry. At this time, uh, MRO should begin picking us up. Uh, but remember, we won't get that data for a while. It's got to store it and then uh, send it back down here for us to decode. Uh, we're still seeing heartbeat tones. Everything looks good. Spacecraft should be up to 5.6 kilometers per second. Two minutes entry. The EDL team is reporting that the latest runouts, which is uh, using the latest nav, our best guess of where we are, uh, show us that the uh, best guess of our landing target location is about 232 meters uh, from the uh, landing target. Um, so, looking good so far. We're continuing to receive heartbeat tones. Everything looks good. We're about 90 seconds from entry. Flight dynamics, EDL phase. Go ahead, phase. That last solution was with 227 or OD228? Uh, that is OD227. Thank you. You guys have now OD228 in your possession? Uh, there will be no 228 for us, phase. That's just fine because the difference is One minute entry. within spinning distance. Uh, affirmative. The vehicle will switch antenna shortly. We'll have a short dropout uh, when that occurs in the tones. Uh, it's switching to a tilted antenna that will be used through entry. Thirty, 30 seconds on. to entry. As we come up on entry, uh, we'll expect a two or three second outage in the x signal signals. We switch from the PLGA to the TLGA. We're switching the TLGA. Signals dropped. And it's we just saw the signal drop then in case we change antennas. We're, We're seeing heartbeat tones again after the switch. Things are looking good. Uh, we got tones back again. Coming up on the tree. The April reports entry interface. At this time, it'll 
begin pressurizing the propulsion system to increase the thrust of the system. Uh, we'll use that for all the maneuvering in the atmosphere we're about to do. Back to Harvey Tones. We are standing by for guided start and start of guided entry. <laughs> Now can see the entry in the atmosphere in the Doppler. We are beginning to feel the atmosphere uh, as we go in here. The vehicle has just reported via tones that it has started guided entry. At this time, the vehicle is beginning to steer its way to the target. That is starting its first bank reversal. First bank reversal complete. We have seen peak deceleration. We have passed through peak heating and peak deceleration. Uh, it is reporting that we are seeing G's on the order of uh, 11 to 12 Earth G's. Flight GDSA. GDSA flight go. We are processing data from Odyssey. Bank reversal two is starting. We are now getting telemetry from Odyssey. All bank right. reversal two complete. <laughs> Copy bank reversal two complete. Thanks. Okay. Right. Standby flight. We have a connection, but we actually do not have any data yet. Copy. We can expect some intermittent contact at this time as the uh, signal gets there increases go. to a respectable level. There we go. And we have our CDP. Okay, copy. To and visualization is updated. The event you're heading alignment. There we go. At this time, curiosity is no longer trying to control how far it's flying downrange and is just heading directly for the target. End of range control, air used, minus 1.2 kilometers. Minus 1.2. 1.2. The EL team is reporting that uh, we are, uh, that things look pretty good at the end of range control. We have controlled, we have converged uh, a lot of the error and we should be heading toward the target. Play EDL. TDS warning is okay. Copy. Power on. We are seeing a tone from the uh, indicating that we uh, have seen uh, we have seen heating on the heat shield uh, through the Bebby instrument. Uh, everything looks fine. This is as expected. During the setting alignment phase, we're flying almost horizontally like a plane. We're going about Mach 2.4 at an altitude of 17 kilometers or so. <laughs> Sequels reporting heartbeat tones again, uh, indicating that everything is fine during heading alignment. Uh, we are standing by for straighten up and fly right and parachute deploy. Vehicles continuing to accelerate. We're down to about Mach 2. As a reminder, we should have parachute deploy around Mach 1.7. We're at 15 kilometers altitude. We've begun entry balance mass jettison. The predicted mid downrange is 1.597 kilometers. EDL ops, Odyssey systems on EDL ops. Parachute deploy. Parachute. <laughs> Thrusters have been re-enabled. Uh, we will control our attitude on shoot. We are decelerating. Wrist mode under our parachute. Our tachometer is decelerating and, and descending. We are at 150 meters per second. Dynamics phase. Come back again with uh, wrist mode dynamics. Wrist mode is nominal. We are at 9 kilometers and descending. Valid range. 
Nine shots are converged with a velocity correction of 0.7 meters a second. We've acquired the ground with the radar. Now two of eight kilometers. Speech has separated, separated where we found we the ground. Expand tones due to earth occultation as expected. We're standing by to prime the Emily engines in preparation for power flight. We're down to 90 meters per second at an altitude of 6.5 kilometers in descending. Flight EDL, we've got some Tweeta warnings. It is in battle short mode, so should power through them. Director Earth Communications at this time. We may have lost it already. We're down to 86 meters per second at an altitude of 4 kilometers in descending. We have lost act we've lost tones from Earth at this time. This is expected. Uh, we are continuing on Odyssey telemetry. Ground solution equals minus 10.8 meters. Vertical velocity of minus 82.8 meters per second. We are priming power logic start enabled. Standing by for batch shell separation. Signal to Odyssey is still strong. We are in powered flight. Yes. We're at altitude of one kilometer descending, about 70 meters per second. Signal to Odyssey Control remains air. down to 50 meters per second, 500 meters in altitude. Standing by for sky crane. Constant velocity accordion nominal, altitude error 5.9 meters. We found a nice flat place. We're coming in ready for sky cramp. Down to 10 meters per second, 40 meters altitude. Sky crane has started. Descending at about 0.75 meters per second as expected. Expecting bridle cut shortly. Tingle to us, you remain strong. Tango Delta nominal. Oh. Yeah, uh, you feel calm, configure me stable. Rib me stable. You Jeff is good. <laughs> Touchdown confirmed. We're safe on live. <laughs> Waiting for images. Heads up, folks! PL Ops, the signal to Odyssey remains strong. Flight EDL, all images are starting to come down. We're beginning to get images. Right, we got images from coming down, folks. If you're calm, configure stand standby for images. We have seen thumbnails coming down. Odyssey data is still strong. Odyssey data is very strong. Odyssey is nice and high in the sky. At this time, we're standing by for images. Thumbnails are complete. We got thumbnails. Poland is complete. Poland is complete. It's 
the wheel. It's the wheel. Time to go. We can see a wheel. Maybe. We are wheels down on Mars. This is actually just here. Oh, my God. You are double covered. We'll do a proper hug on the other side. Thank <laughs> you.